Well, how do then, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys and the viewer verse, you can probably see from that screen just there, heck yes, that I'm over on the Bliss planet, and I'm at my base for the zoo send-off. Now, there was quite a cool sort of outing where they showcased all the bases on the Bliss planet, or as many that would show up inside the portal. Rice's Starship Emporium, Flowery Skrill, and Sazable covered off the event live. I'll put a link in the top right-hand corner over there to one of those playlists. You can go and hit it up. I say playlists. It was one of those videos. I'll just pick one at random. Anyway, I don't know why I'm wearing this headset. Let's take that off. Let's just chuck that over there. And um, I'll see you over inside of the planet Bliss. See you in a moment, people. Heck yes. Come on! Here we go. I'm inside of game and I'm at my base and I'm already inside of camera mode. I'll come out of camera mode in a moment so you can see sort of the animations. But I've got like this little collector on the top and it does actually collect stuff. Now from the outside, it's a pyramid. Now, Zoo was a massive fan of his kaleidoscopes, but he was also a fan of pyramids. Now, I'm not a glitch builder. So this pyramid is a four-sided pyramid that I've done without glitch building, and I've put this sort of defense cannon on one of the sides to sort of denote where the entrance is in a roundabout way. You can actually sit on this. You can actually take a little pew. In fact, I'll go demo it. Let's come out of camera mode so you can see the animations on this base anyway. When I say animations, this, this thing on the top spins like that. See? It does that lovely jubbly. Yep. And let's see what I've got in my supply depot. We've got a shed load of freaking copper, people. Heck yes, we do. You know what? I'm going to take that. I'm going to have that. I'm going to have that away. Thank you very much. You can see there, it's got enough power to do the copper. It's it's not the quickest, but, you know, it, it is what it is. It's just there for a bit of fun, really. Let's head on down to the cannon, and let's go take a pew inside of the cannon seat, shall we, people? So we go. And I'm going to sit there. Boom. You can see there, look. I'm just right height. For the actual control panel, there we go. Let's uh, let's press buttons. Boom! Fire! Boom! You dead freaking giant crab creature! I mean, it'd be so cool if there were workable sort of cannons for bases in the viewerverse, wouldn't it, people? Especially now that we've got so many more sentinelized threats and infested planets with giant worm creatures. But then again, we can't we can't actually attack or kill those giant worm creatures, which I would, I would like to be able to, to be honest. You know, Sean Murray says it wouldn't be fun to be killed by a giant freaking sandworm. You know, the people of June knew that hardship. Anyways, we've entered inside, but I, I kind of feel if we can get killed by freaking stray asteroids or the odd tornado, then why not a blinking worm? Anyways, we're inside of Zoo's base here. Well, I say my, it's not Zoo's base. It's a base I made for Zoo as a send-off. <laughs> in ode to zoo but anyway look at the moment it hasn't got enough power there's all electric signs everywhere so i'm just going to take this off of there and chuck it into here into this bio furnace there you go bio furnace have some cupping there you go boom and i can take some off of here i can run over to this one i can do the same with this one and hopefully we can give it a bit of a charge, people. Now, it has got solar panels on the outside as well, but there we go. We've completed the circuit. The actual portals come on now. And I've put an X on the ceiling for Zoo. And I've used, like, green lighting because Zoo's colours were pretty green. And there we are. Dundley and done, people. The pyramid is all illuminated and it's, it's sprang into work in order which is pretty darn sweet. OK, so now from the underside of this pyramid, just to show that it sort of flies, I've put these sort of things on the bottom edge of it. Look, you've got these uh, like round sort of discs, almost like it's an anti-gravity engine. Now, I've seen other people's bases on this planet, people, and I'm kind of embarrassed with my build, mainly because I don't do the old glitch building and I don't put together things that are sort of super, super, super crazy. I mean, the kaleidoscopes on this planet are freaking beautiful, people. And all also, the pyramids on this planet are a lot nicer than mine. I would say mine is very run-of-the-mill. Mine fits into probably the average to below average when it comes to the bases on this planet. I would showcase more, but I don't know how people would feel about me showcasing their bases. But there are so many here. There's Roger Law's base just over there. We've got Todd MC's base there. We've got Mac Cajun's base. Who else have I got in close proximity? Yokel Duck T's base. Nice. We've got over here. Lazarus J. Def. Lazarus J. Def comes into my uh, chat quite often. I could go visit Lazarus J. Def's base because I kind of 
new of late. That shiny red and white space. I know shiny red flag. I don't know whether that's one of his, but I know shiny red flag. Over here, we've got Raven Wolf. Yeah, that's a familiar name as well inside of the old No Man's Sky verse. It's funny how many of these names actually ring bells to me, people. Elmo Shaolin's base. Well, that's new. Don't know that name, but that's pretty cool. And we've got over here, Lay Zabert's base. Again, a new name, but yeah, no, that one looks like it's in freaking flowing distance, mate. Oh, 42 minutes away. It's still quite a distance. What have we got there? Darth Nightwolf's base. Very cool name, Darth. Scottish Rod. Well, I know Scottish Rod. I can go show you Scottish Rod's base. I know he's already done a video on his own base. So, yeah. Oh, oh in fact, actually, I'd rather than go visit his base, I'll put a link up there. Go check out Scottish Rod's base. It's freaking awesome. But at the start of this video, I gave you a link um, to hopefully one of the live events that went on for about four hours that shows this off in its fullest. It's freaking amazing. There's a memorial base right there as well. Who was that by? Funker Vocht. Nice. Who we got over here? Um, I, it's not coming up with that one because it's just showing a comms ball. That's the problem. If you put comms balls too near to your bases, sadly, it stops the actual thing from popping up. Dashboard Devil's base. Oh, yeah. Dashboard Devil's been in my live chat a couple of times. But there we go, people. That's just what I'm seeing from here. Uh, there's loads. There's loads and loads of bases inside of this system. It's like if I go to my teleporter terminus right now, one of the main reasons that I put a teleporter terminus in this base is so you can go and visit lots of other bases. So even if you came to mine, it's got a teleporter. that You can just jump on over into here. You go to other bases, and if you scroll down to the bottom of the list here, all the way to the bottom, it should just show you all the bases that are in a close proximity. So you can see here... That one actually says work in progress at the end, WIP. So that's kind of why I don't want to go visit too many of these bases just yet and showcase them, just in case they are still a work in progress. I know that everybody had until the 15th, but at the same time, I would like to hope that if, if people have got the means to put a video out themselves, they would, or they would share screenshots. Otherwise, the showcasing was, you know, the live events that Ricey, Flowery Scroll, and um, you know, Sazable covered off. You know, they were very close to Zoo, and they sort of had the green light to do that. Um, hopefully, there's going to be a green light for everybody else to go around and visit these bases at some point. But I just want to give it a little bit more time to bed in before I go and visit, vi visit any, just in case there's more that are still a work in progress. But yeah, look at all these lovely messages as well. Thank you, Zoo. I'm going to miss you. Oh, much in heck. Pulls on the heartstrings. Never-ending Temple of Zoo. Yeah, beautiful. Even just the naming sort of conventions tugs on the old heartstrings, people. It really does. It's put a lump in my throat. I'm going to have to go and have another cup of tea because my tea is actually empty. I had a couple of glugs. Uh, it's gone. It's gone. And it's not even my merch mug. It's one of these pretty mugs. Yeah. Lovely jubbly people anyway. So I will be doing a, a showcase, but I just wanted to show you my base first and foremost. But my base, because it's got like a little portal terminus on, if you do head into this system, you head over to here, at least you know that it's got a portal terminus and it's a great place to jump to other bases. I've shown you how to power it up if it's a bit lacking in power. And that's kind of why I made this here. I made this here mainly for me to do base showcases, but, it, you know, knock yourselves out. It's a very simple, easy to load in build. It's not going to put any sort of you know, demands on your uh, processors or anything like that. It's probably a great place to start off inside of the zoo hub to do a little bit of your own sort of jumping around using the portal if you want to use that method otherwise sometimes bases don't always render in um but yeah yeah i, I could jump over no i won't show you any of us today i was just going to show you how it renders in bases from jumping from a portal rather than flying there but you know what people i think you've got the idea anyway peeps inside the view of us i'm going to go and make myself a fresh cup of tea and uh you know what i might put together a pre-recorded episode Fire it over to um, Ricey and crew and ask them if it's OK if I put it out into the verse and do a little bit of a showcase of some of the bases. I might just feature, say, five or something, just so people get an idea of what they're going to find on this planet. Anyway, peeps, I think I'm going to be ending off now. Have I got anything else that I've got in the works? I might be doing some more Outer Worlds videos. There's only two days right now remaining on the expedition. 
uh, but there is a little bit of a layover where Hello Games gives like you know an extra 24 hours grace period. It's just you can't hit up the mission. It's just for people to finish it off. So we might as well say three days. So what takes us up to about Wednesday, Thursday time of this week. So I'm hoping by maybe the Monday or Tuesday of next week, we might get some sort of emoji drop or some sort of thing happen with the depots that there might be another expedition on its way in. Um, it, it might not happen until perhaps the week after, but I'm hoping I'm hoping all the ducks are going to be in the row for another expedition right after this expedition with perhaps a week's grace period in between, because I'm really eager to get into that next part of the ARG. I am kind of hoping that there's going to be another update with the next expedition, but I don't think that's on the cards. I kind of think we're going to get the four part arc and then after the four part arc, boom, massive update is what I'm thinking. That's what my gut's telling me. That's what my brain's telling me. But I don't know whether that's worth hyping up or getting excited about just yet, people, until we see some of the signs happening. The old emojis, depots doing stuff, maybe cells happening. Anyway, people, until next time, you've all been awesome. Thank you for watching. I hope you like my base. As simple as it is. Until next time. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.